Hey everyone, I'm posting a little bit late this week, but I guess that's in keeping with the overall Brexit delays theme this year. Just be glad I don't copy the HS2 delays and send everybody an apology by means of an invoice. But did anything have not even happened of late? Well, actually, it was the Queen's speech. Perhaps you didn't notice, or maybe you were too full up with turkey and red wine and... Oh wait, no, that's the other Queen's speech. This was the one where she reads out whatever Dominic Cummings hands her, which this time around included 26 government bills, most of which are aspirational, seeing as how even the Prime Minister's closest friends assume that most of the next year will be taken up in organising trade agreements. But then these days, government bills try to make up in quantity what they maybe lack in quality. You think the Parliament would be fairly popular with the leftist green fanatics, what with how they reuse and recycle the same costumes year in after year, to the extent that Parliament now looks increasingly like a period drama, not helped by the fact that the building itself still retains all the antique charms with everything from hand-painted wallpaper to more serious structural issues like asbestos and no doubt lead pipes if you look close enough, how very retro. Also, it's worth noting when it comes to green credentials, the Queen often makes a whole point of choosing a horse-drawn carriage over a combustion engine, but of course not the green lot and her friends will never be satisfied. Instead, what we got was a few hours of follow-up criticising every part of the day to the extent that you half expected someone to turn up on Channel 4 News and demand that the Queen try it in a different language next time for those who don't speak English, by which I mean the sort of person who speaks Flemish and rides around in a big German car paid for by European taxpayers. For me, the most puzzling observation all day was from someone on the news commenting about government spending, and they said that, quote, cuts lead to knife violence. Surely the other way around, though, when you think about it. Anyway, see you in about a week's so time. Very busy again next weekend. If you like these, click subscribe.